Hi, I'm Olivia Moore. I'm a partner on the early stage AI applications team here at A16Z. I spend a lot of my time around products that consumers or prosumers use to do their work better. And so the concept of an agentic browser is really exciting to me. And it feels like we may finally be there. The past month saw the release of two AI browsers, Dia from the browser company and Comet from Perplexity. We've seen agentic consumer products like Operator from ChatGPT or even Project Mariner from Google, which can complete tasks for you. But both of these require navigating into a separate interface and spinning up a project. So I personally haven't found myself using either as much as I originally expected when they first came out. The promise of an AI browser is that it bakes the power of AI into everything you do. You don't have to navigate somewhere to use it, but it works alongside you to make everything a little bit easier and more delightful. Both Dia and Comet are beautiful products and are really fun to use, but do either of them live up to the AI native vision? I tested them both extensively over the past week to find out, and I've scored them on what I see as the core features to try to pick a winner in the battle of the agentic browsers. First, both of the browsers have a few core features in common. Most notably, there's an AI chat assistant that pops up on the side. It can take the context of whatever's on your page or even specific things you've highlighted or screenshotted as an input into a question, a draft you're trying to write, or a project. This is pretty useful for things like summarizing a video or an article without having to drop a link into ChatGPT. Or even things like shopping. You might be on a product page and want to find a less expensive dupe, and both browsers can do that for you very easily. Because of this, I find myself using AI a lot more throughout the day. It's more casual than having to go to all of the extra effort to drop everything into ChatGPT or Claude. On things like basic search and summarization, Perplexity should have an edge here on Comet, given this is their core product and I will give them the win here. For most of my searches head to head across the browsers, I preferred Perplexity's formatting and sourcing just a little bit better. It was a bit cleaner than how Dia structured information. I'll also give Perplexity the win on more complex or advanced search. On Comet, you can use Perplexity's version of deep research to perform more in-depth searches without having to give them a lot more sophisticated prompting. Both browsers also have voice modes where you can dictate with speech into the browser. This seems to be a featured use case of Dia in particular, given you can also set up a specific coding module where you give the browser instructions on your preferences for coding languages or formats that you want it to default to. And both browsers offer the ability to personalize, where you teach Dia and Comet more about yourself and what you care about to enable better results. But they do this in different ways, which I'll talk about a little bit more. Where Dia really shines, in my opinion, is on what they call skills. I've actually found myself using Dia more like a ChatGPT replacement with a focus on workflows than a true browser. And it actually seems somewhat catered to that use case as there's no top navigation bar to type in a URL. Though of course you can search the web or go to a website through the Dia chat interface. On Dia, you can personalize the browser to who you are, what you do, and even how you talk, and then build out skills or tasks that you run with a single tag. As one example, let's say I'm a creator and want to reach out to a bunch of brands. I can actually create a skill for an outreach email and leave spaces where I want Dia to go do research. And then when I come across a brand, I either give Dia the URL or I can prompt it directly from the brand's website. In this example, I give it information about me as a creator and my audience, and then Dia goes and does all the research on the brand and their creator team and will draft a personalized email. This is so much faster than having to do the research yourself every time. I also found Dia's interface especially helpful if you're the type of person who has a lot of tabs open with shared context across them, or if you wanna upload files as extra context. One example, you might open up 10 articles on the same topic you're researching, and you can ask Dia to summarize them all. Or if you're looking for an Airbnb and you have five options open, 
you can tell it to look across all your tabs and make a comparison table of the core features. Perplexity also has tab-specific queries, but I found it just a little bit easier to use on Dia. Where Perplexity's comment shines, in my opinion, is actually in driving action across core apps. It's a real agent. When you set up Comet, you can authenticate into Google Calendar, Google Drive, Dropbox, and WhatsApp. And then you can not only search across these products and across your browser history and perplexity history, but you can push tasks towards them via the Comet interface. So you can send an email or schedule a meeting directly within Comet. A few use cases that I found myself returning to, pulling information out of old emails or meeting records, anything like what's my flight information, what's the confirm code, what's my mileage number. It can triage your inbox so it can highlight your most important missed emails. It can find things like unpaid bills and direct you where to go to pay them. And calendar management is another big one. So I, I give an example here of finding out when my last one-on-one -on -one was with someone, scheduling one for the next day, and then sending them an email to let them know that it's happening. And this all happens directly through comment in 30 seconds. On comment, you can also set up tasks on a recurring basis. And this is where having a browser becomes a real advantage for perplexity because they can push the results back to you from those tasks without you having to decide to go use perplexity at the right time. And for me, this is a reason why I haven't used the ChatGPT tasks as much because I'm not in ChatGPT all day. Perplexity is also more agentic in general. As an example, I'll ask Comet to find and purchase a book for a five-year-old's birthday. And this is where some of their other products like shopping really come into play. I've already saved down my billing and shipping info so it can complete purchases on my behalf in basically one click. Other horizontal agent products like Operator won't do this right now. You have to enter your payment info every time, which is a little bit of a pain. Perplexity also wins on collaboration, in my opinion. They have spaces built into the browser that support longer term work that you can share and work on with other people. I would describe it as a Google folder with search built in. You can use templates to get started. This example is if you're planning a trip and then personalize them with your context and share them with other people who might wanna work on it with you. So between Comet and Dia, Comet wins for me right now as a core browser, though I do find myself returning to Dia almost every day for some of the skills that I've set up there. If you're willing to put in the work on onboarding, it's a really powerful product. I'm very interested to see how both Google and OpenAI punch back, as they both have really powerful models themselves and they have access to a lot of user credentials and data. It's somewhat surprising to me that we haven't seen a more agentic browser from Google in particular already, and I would imagine one might be coming soon. To use Dia, you have to either have an existing Arc browser account or you can join the waitlist. And to use Comet, you need either an invite code or to be a Perplexity Max subscriber at $200 a month. Though keep an eye out for a free version of the browser that's coming in the future. Check out the links below if you wanna take a look at either product. And if you've used either Dia, Comet, or another Agentic browser, we'd love to hear which one's your favorite and why.